Hi, welcome to our show. Thanks for joining us again. Tonight we're going to be talking about something that I think many of you at home are struggling with or have struggled with or might finally come to struggle with and that is something called starting over. And starting over what? Starting over a career. A career that at one time occupied the bulk of your life, your interests, your enthusiasm and then came to a close for one reason or another, families, other kinds of jobs, other interests. And then you get to a point in your life where you come to think perhaps this is the time when I might start it over again. Is it too late? Can I do it again? Is it possible to start over? And to this evening's show, we're going to be covering starting over. I want to welcome to our show tonight Suzanne Bernard. Now, we've got an audience full of people out there who could not imagine starting over in any field, let alone starting over after 15, 16 years in the theater. At this point, do you feel a kind of sense of realness or anxiousness about it, even though you actually have started. Tell me, were there any self-doubts or anxiousness at this time about this whole starting over? Are Did you kidding? I was scared stiff. I was petrified, really petrified. What are the kinds of things that you would have self-doubt about? You're a grown woman now. You've gone through all kinds of experiences. What, what would be the doubt you'd carry with you now? Well, I think the worst, I think, was the, the fact of the age. What would you say about someone who said to you, I feel similarly, Suzanne, I'm older now, a man or a woman, I think I'm too old to do whatever it was they said. It wasn't the theater. I'm too old to become a horticulturist. I'm too old to go back to electronics. I'm too old to go back to the career in writing, or I'm too old to go back to teaching. Well, I'll tell them to just don't be scared. Stay with that for a moment, uh, because many people are concerned about what this is going to do if a person started a career again, no longer was concentrating on being a parent, right. no longer was totally focused on being a lover or a wife or a husband, a spouse, mm -hmm. but started to spend more time, energy, concern, interest, vitality on themselves and on a career, which wouldn't just be themselves. Well, I think when I look at what happened to me, it's the, age. Like, you know the walk? The, the walk, older you walk. How you walk? No, the walk. Chinese food, walk. Oh, the walk. Walk. Is, right. Where is the W-O-K? W-O-K, okay. okay, right. Why, so you say walk? Well, walk. I, uh, you say walk in W-O-K. Okay. You say walk if it's W-A-L-K. But we know exactly what you mean, Suzanne. Okay. It's a walk. About the time, persons would say, uh, as you're getting on in years, uh, not that you're that old, but as one is getting older, the whole notion of starting over, you're facing the clock. You don't have 50, 60 years to start a right. career, 30, 40. Right, right. Do you find that that's a pressure that you feel in the starting over, that you're racing the clock, racing the calendar? There's just a certain block of time that you better get it in or else you, it's all over for you. Well, I used to. She asked me before the show started, she said, could we please, Dr. Golden, if there was an opportunity for me to mention where it is that I'm going to be working? And I said, absolutely. I won't forget to do it. <laughs> so obviously... Uh, trust was absent at the moment, but I'm glad you mentioned it. Yes, Suzanne, uh, Suzanne Bernard, for those of you at home, is going to be singing at the Silver Lining. When? 20, 26, 27, and 28th of April. 26, 27, 28th of April. All right, I want to get to something that I know if I don't get to, we're going to be in a lot of trouble with the audience out there who are saying to themselves, it's great that she's a performer. She's absolutely lovely. We're thrilled that she's starting over. We can't wait to do it ourselves, but no show with a French woman is complete without some kind of food. Oh, and I bought uh, something Suzanne special. bought something for us tonight. Uh, let me help you get it up okay. here, and you'll explain it. We're going to be, this is going to be one of these galloping gourmet explanations, right. Suzanne, so you can just but one talk second. it to your camera, it's and a, I'll wait a second. It's a vavit dish. And vavit means what? Quick. I think that the show tonight was particularly special because we had someone who didn't see yesterday's as something just in the past, and who didn't see Suzanne today as something just to be lived. Oh, no, I'm here. And sees here to tomorrow <laughs> as something that's really to be grabbed Hi. and fulfilled. Yes. And I can't tell you how much we enjoy you being here, Suzanne. Thank it's you. Great. You don't mind me kissing your hand, do you? Oh, no, please. You don't mind me eating your hand, do you? <laughs> no, no I'll, you kissing. can eat the strawberries. <laughs> Thank you. Well, we are right there, Suzanne. Thanks again for being with us tonight. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you for having me. <laughs> 